People ask me this a lot, and the question comes up with, about professional baseball players. And people think, well, a professional baseball player, they must have a perfect kinematic sequence. And I say, you'd be surprised, because I test a lot of professional baseball players, and there's a high amount that don't have optimal kinematic sequences. Now, there's a lot of different things that can still factor in to the ball-back collision that they can have success in doing their style and slightly being out of sequence. But what good kinematic sequencing can do for us is it delays the decision-making process of having to commit to the ball. I'm swinging, I'm swinging, I'm swinging till I'm not. And if my bat is the best thing to turn around the body, I can shut down the swing really late. I often think back when a, a prominent prospect was called up to the big leagues for the first time, I was excited, and I wanted to get some high-speed video on this player. And what I saw is I could never get a true take on him, that every single time the lower body had a running start and it looked like the player was executing a check swing. What I was looking at was a correct kinematic sequence in 2D video. The player had the commitment and the intent of the lower body with a running start to hit every ball. But because the kinematic sequence was correct, they could shut down the last part of the swing really late. And that last part being my hands. So a correct kinematic sequence will delay the decision making on the pitch, but give us greater adjustability and get us up to speed in a shorter amount of time.